Hi, I am Dr. Subhas Pradhan and I am a psychiatrist. Let us discuss about suicide today. When a movie star recently died by suicide, there was a common question. Why did he have to die? He literally had everything that one would die for. This exposes people's ignorance about suicide. Let's start by defining what suicide is. Although there are many definitions of suicide, the one I like is this. Suicide is a self-inflicted death with an evidence of an intention to die. After the person has died, the only way you can find out whether he had an intent to die or not. Parasuicide, on the other hand, refers to act of self-harm in which the intention is not to kill himself or herself, although eventually the person might end up being dead. Let's look at some common facts about suicide. Suicide is highly prevalent. In fact, worldwide, a person kills himself in every 40 seconds. By the time we have finished our talk today, imagine how many people would have ended their life. In fact, many women try to kill themselves more than men. However, men complete suicidal activities more than women. Other misconception is that asking about suicide, some people believe that by asking about suicide, you are making them more prone to kill themselves. That is not a fact. In fact, asking about suicide is an essential component of any mental state examination. It's very important the way media portrays suicide. Very often we hear that the person committed suicide. It is equivalent to say that he committed a crime, which is not the same thing. So these are the facts that you have to remember while discussing about suicide. Now let's take a look at suicidal warning signs. It can be divided under three headings, talk, mood and behavior. Under the category of talking, people, those who are likely to kill themselves often talk about it. They talk frequently and repeatedly about their desire to die. Sometimes they use it as a threat. Mood-wise, they feel sad and depressed and very often hopeless for the future. Their behavior is characterized by seeking places where they can hide themselves or giving away their prized possessions. For example, I know a person who had a collection of goldfish and he tried to give it to someone before killing himself. And they are often preoccupied with making plans about hurting themselves. So when all these components are put together, the higher the number, the higher the risk of killing themselves. Remember, in risk assessment, two factors are taken into consideration. One is the intent to die. Second is the lethality of the attempt. A particular act could be high intent but low lethality or low intent but high lethality. And when it is high intent and high lethality that talks about the imminence of suicidal act. So the common question that arises is suicide preventable, although it's quite a contentious area. The answer is yes, to a large extent. It is not 100% preventable, but if we follow the precautions, we recognize people early, will be in a better position to prevent suicide. Let me end my talk by talking about five steps that you can take when you come across 
somebody to suspect have been emotional pain or likely to hurt himself or her first try to ask about his feeling state how does he feel does he want to hurt himself does he want to kill himself contrary to the popular belief by asking them you are not making them prone to commit or to kill themselves second keep them safe you must do whatever is practically possible to keep them safe for example that might require you to remove some of the instruments that might be used in the act of suicide for example a loaded gun knife ropes things like that next be there is very important that your physical presence makes a big difference and that could make the difference between life and death for that individual next one help him to connect with people connection is an essential component of a mentally healthy people remember the more connected he or she with society with individuals with his or her hobbies the less chance that he will be hurting himself or killing himself last but not the least stay connected it's not a once of act even after the first counseling session is over or first you have talked to somebody make it a point that you are connected with the individual and that will ensure that the person has hope and the chances of suicide will be much less so in short you heard some knowledge about suicide how you will be identifying and what you will be able to do to potentially prevent it i hope that was useful thank you